Well, seven crew members are still missing off the coast of Japan after the Air Force Osprey they were flying crashed yesterday. Hunter Sowards in the newsroom tracking this with the safety questions back in the spotlight, Hunter, surrounding the military aircraft. What do we know tonight? Well, Tony, we know that there are seven families desperately waiting for answers about their loved ones. The crash had happened during a routine training exercise yesterday. This is similar to another deadly Osprey crash that killed Placer County Marine Captain John Sachs in 2022. His family says this latest Osprey mishap underscores their demands for change. Every day, uh, men and women get into this aircraft and put their lives on the line, knowing that the aircraft might not be safe. It's a familiar scene for the family of loved ones lost to the dozens of military Osprey crashes over the last 30 years. The latest happening during a routine training mission off the coast of Yakushima Island in southern Japan. A Japanese Coast Guard vessel recovering what appears to be an inflatable life raft and a large piece of debris. Versions of the Osprey fly in three branches of the military. They're known for having a troubling track record. Last August, one crashed in Australia during international training exercises, killing three Marines. Since 2012, six other crashes have left a total of 13 dead, including Marine Captain John Sachs. They need to make sure that they have a responsibility to the military members that are flying them. His gold star wife calling for accountability, speaking to us on Veterans Day, afraid another tragedy would claim more lives. I want to have confidence that they're doing as much as possible, but all that time passed and there wasn't a fix. Why do we keep seeing issues with this specific aircraft? That is a very good question that I think needs answers to. Timothy Loringer, the attorney for the Sachs family, says the Marine Corps determined the crash Sachs died in in 2022 was due to a specific mechanical failure. This is an issue that's been known uh, to the military and to the manufacturers since at least 2010, and they have not been able to come up with a fix for this. Uh, they have not been able to find the true root cause of this failure within the aircraft. While military investigates the cause of the most recent crash, Japanese officials have grounded all Osprey operations. Take a deep look, see if they can figure out what's going on so that they can keep uh, military people safe. As more and more Gold Star families search for closure. Amber Sachs and the other families, they want answers. They would like information. They're desperate to understand what happened. And if you want to read the full statement Amber Sachs submitted to us, just go to our website on CBS13.com. Japan, in the meantime, has asked the United States to also ground all Osprey operations in light of this newest investigation. At this time, the Pentagon has not issued that grounding.